You know, he yelled at me a lot, but he didn't do anything, huh? Well, sometimes it's a cathartic... Uh... No, no, I'm saying that if he knows I'm a fuck-up, why does he leave me in charge of getting his wife back? Because he doesn't fucking want her back, man. He's had enough. He no longer digs her. It's all a show. O okay, but then why doesn't he give a shit about his million bucks? I, I mean, he knows we never handed off his briefcase, but he never asked for it back. <laughs> the million bucks was never in the briefcase. <laughs> the briefcase was fucking empty, man. The asshole was hoping that they would kill her. You threw out a ringer for a ringer. <laughs> okay, but how does all this add up to an emergency? Huh? I'm saying I see what you're getting at, dude. He kept the money. My point is, <clears throat> here we are. It's Shabbos, Shabbos, the Sabbath, which I'm allowed to break only if it's a matter of life or death. Will you come off it, Walter. You're not even fucking Jewish, man. What the fuck are you talking man, about? You're fucking Polish Catholic. What the fuck are you talking about? I converted when I married Cynthia. Yeah, come on, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and, know this. Yeah, and five fucking years ago, you were divorced. So what do you say? When you get divorced, you turn in your library card, you get a new license, you stop being Jewish? Uh, this is the drawing one. Jewish fucking tub, you. Man, you know, it's, it's all a part of your sick Cynthia thing. Man, taking care of her fucking dog, going to her fucking synagogue. You're living in the fucking past. 3,000 years of beautiful tradition from Moses to Sandy Koufax. You're goddamn right I'm living in the fucking past. I'm... Jesus. What the hell happened?